Welcome, my friends. Let's get our clash on, shall we? Yes, let's do our clash. So what we have here is the two golem strategy, getting kick written off right on it. Now, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take out this Inferno Tower and go push right towards the Inferno, and this is the best way to take down a Town Hall 10. Why you want to take down the Inferno Tower as quick as possible? Like, you know, i got to bring the golems, perfect funnel, the bowlers, everything's in the core where I want it. Going to drop the Rage right now. So this is looking great. I should three-star this base. The Inferno Tower goes down, the King and Queen, the uh, Miners in the Clan Castle, everything is working as needed. But what happened here and what did I find about taking on Town Hall 10? This is a max base Town Hall 10. Everything's up and running except the Inferno Towers, but still very hard. I don't have max heroes. So what I found out, guys, and I, I've proven it on a number of attacks. I think the main thing of getting the three star at the Town Hall 10 using the Bowler Miner strategy, don't push into the Inferno Tower right away. Because what I found is you lose your bowlers and kind of the kill squad, the initial kill squad, way too quickly. So I failed that attack, and I have a bunch of fails doing that same sort of strategy, uh, trying to just kind of push right into the Inferno Towers. Like, I'm going to do this over and over. It didn't work. But then I decided, you know what? I'm going to come away from the Inferno Towers here and just let my bowlers and my kill squad take down pretty much a quarter to half of the base. So they're not taking down the Inferno Towers right away. Way, but that is okay what they're doing is actually taking down tons of defensive units um, to destroy the base and the reason this one failed bad jump placement the jump did not go um, and put the bowlers in towards that eastern inferno tower they kind of went to the core and then didn't do much so again a, a kind of a mistake on my part but then I bring in the miners you can tell I'm kind of bringing in some miners uh, towards the south there um, southwest and kind of splitting them up to try to path them towards that other inferno tower see because if I put my jump spell and on the next video I'm going to show you my three-star attack my bowlers and king would have taken down that eastern inferno tower and if they were able to do that I would have three-starred this base so look look how much better this attack was compared to the first one when I went in directly towards the inferno tower I almost three-starred this base um, after just you know realizing the better strategy of using the bowlers and miners at town hall 10 so now I've got the game plan and let's see it done so when you're using the two golem strategy this could work on the one golem as well um, a lot of people have different opinions on two or one golem so so obviously just bringing a couple wizards using the baby dragon as well and look what it's gonna happen so you know what I'm doing I'm just taking out this southern end of the base look at the jump spell look where it goes it jumps right into the other inferno tower the bowlers go down everything's perfect remember put bowlers first then the king bowlers take a long time they're really slow the rage will drop soon and going to destroy the the heroes and the clan castle and everything there the miners i dropped a couple miners and here come the rest what i'm doing is kind of creating the funnel i'm bring, bringing in the miners with the uh rest of my units toward that other inferno tower i thought you know what work in conjunction that's the best way to do it but look at this Everything is going as planned as just like I wanted to. Um, the queen did uh, kind of drift away. I was hoping she would actually go north and hit that eastern compartment. Um, but because of my kill squad took out pretty much half the base towards the south, or at least a quarter of the base, less defensive units for the miners. Now, this gets really tricky. I have one heal left. I have to be extremely patient with it. I know I'm not going to place it now because... Uh, it's just I, I need to save it for that southern um, that that western wizard tower. You got to understand when you got to understand to save the heal spells for the wizard towers. And so I'm being very patient. Luckily, my queen took down that final inferno tower. But look, this is where it gets tricky, my friends. A number of my not too many miners left. I could easily fail this, but I save the heal right right now I put it I actually put it a little early I should have saved it just one second longer because what's gonna happen they're gonna get stuck on that dark elixir um, storage and I didn't have a heal to kind of keep them alive as they were stuck on it so a little my fault a little early on the heal spell but you got to be patient with that final heal the early the first heal is pretty easy to use but that second heal spell and second and third one you got to be very patient with it there's the three stars so anyways again 
Don't go into the Inferno Towers head on. I don't think that works. I think taking out uh, half of the base or a quarter of the base with the Kill Squad and then it frees up your miners um, more to take out the base um, and take it down. And hopefully the Queen will take out one of the Inferno Towers as well in conjunction with the miners. So there you go. That's what I learned from attacking a bunch of these Town Hall 10s um, uh, using the Bowler Miner strategy. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Halo.